well because I wanted to have this kind of a shop is probably the best answer to that question. Why here? Because I love the coast and I'm a sea witch. Um, makes a huge difference to me that I'm within a loud shout of the water. Uh, I love the climate. I love the area. Uh, we have some pretty weird people, but you're gonna find weird people anywhere. Um, there's a lot of pagans in this county. Oh yeah. Well, it's the Covenstead for the Rose of the Sea teaching circle for one thing. And uh, we do classes here. We have a big classroom in the back, which is wonderful. I do all kinds of classes too. It's not just classes in Wicca, but they're craft classes. Like this afternoon, I'm supposed to be making rose beads. Um, things that have to do with herbs. Uh, we have classes in embroidery. Uh, sometimes it's magical embroidery. Sometimes it's just how do you thread a needle? How do you sew on a button? We've done classes like that too. Um, it's a space where a lot of people get together. Part of the reason for this end of the shop here with all the chairs and the sit and space and the cushions and everything else is people get together and sit and talk. Uh, people who otherwise probably wouldn't ever meet, which I love. Center, but we do a lot of things here that are community based. We have a bulletin board. Uh, I, right in the back over there behind behind you with all kinds of um, business cards and announcements and their community stuff, their personal ads sometimes uh, when people have stuff for sale or whatever. Uh, the Seaside Gardens, Seashore, Seashore Community Garden has their stuff up there. Our tsunami evacuation map is up there. <laughs> There's a menu from the Chinese restaurant across the street, that kind of thing. So very much a community space in that sense as well too. Well, they're not particularly profitable. You have to be able to make a living. Um, and sometimes it's really, really difficult to make a living. This last few years with the economy being very down has been difficult for all of the shops. Um, at one Wicca is my life. I got into Wicca when I was in my 20s. I've always been called to some religious path. Um, I knew that I was going to be some kind of clergy at some point. And so here, I can do my counseling. I can work with people. I can do readings. I can make all of my craft stuff. I can sit and embroider stuff. I can sew. I can use every piece that is me to do this. Um, I teach quite a bit. Um, I teach a lot away from the shop. And of course I do, being clergy, I do the various rites of passage things for people. Uh, did a hand fasting uh, last week, as a matter of fact. But that also includes things like baby blessings and crossing the bridge rituals and you know all of the stages of life. Um, Heart of the Lamb at Pagans is doing Pagan Pride in Salem and they asked me to come teach. Um, I've taught down in Coos Bay uh, with a group, the Patchwork Pagans down there. And I've been asked to go various and sundry places. I'm kind of limited on the ability to go too far with the shop. <laughs> uh, also, we've done, we've set up a booth at Fairy Worlds a, a couple times. Uh, think, uh, oh yeah, and Pathways to Transformation, the big psychic fair that they have in August in Yahats every year. Uh, a growth of understanding of tolerance, of people, people's ability to come out of the broom closet, um, to stop being the small medium in the cup broom cupboard or something. Um, <laughs> that's what I would like to see. Well, our uh, pan begging gathering is a good example of what I want to see. Be the change you want to see in the world. So, okay, we're going to do a Oregon Coast pan bacon gathering and spend three days doing rituals and talking and eating and running around on the beach and running around in the woods, not naked. No, we don't get to do that this time, out here. <laughs> uh, because we wanted to have more than one tradition being represented. Uh, Rose of the Sea is one end of Wicca. There are thousands of flavors of Wicca, um, just Wicca. And then all of the people who were witches, but not Wicca, all of the Ozatruar, all of the First Nations groups, all of the people who are New Age, or who will call themselves spiritual, and they say, but I'm not religious. Um, we wanted to cover all of that. We have had Druids teach. We've had uh, Gardnerian witches. 
uh, and Anderson Ferry tradition. We've had uh, one reclaiming witch teach at one point and a lady who was uh, rock, uh, let me see if I get the name right, <clears throat> rock magic hoodoo tradition, whatever that is. I never did figure it out, but, <laughs> but and we had people, we wanted everybody, <coughs> excuse me, we wanted everybody to feel welcome. We even um, have Most of the pagan traditions don't get too solemn. Um, the virtues of the goddess, mirth and reverence. You're supposed to have both sides and balance yourself out. We we're happy people and we're good people. That's probably the best I can say it. Um, I don't like to use negatives. Um, you see the things on Facebook all the time where, well, witches are not this, we're not Satanists, we don't eat babies, we don't poison wells. Okay, fine, fine, get that out of the way. We're good people. We're all saying the same things, but we're speaking different languages. And damn it, just because you yell doesn't mean I'm gonna understand your language any better. And if it's accompanied by a fist shoving it down my throat, I'm going to understand it even less well. <laughs> um, Wicca is a tradition where we learn who we are, not who everybody else thinks we ought to be. Who are you? Who were you intended to be in this lifetime? What are you supposed to do in this time, in this place, in this body, in this culture? What is your task? Learn it. Do it and enjoy the hell out of it because it's a lot of fun when you actually f can really figure out what you're doing and know that you're doing something good.